So now take your uh, yoga block on. So take out light spring. Take out light spring. Then so keep your red spring on. So you can sit bending your knees and uh, untuck your toes then on the yoga block or you can just cross your legs in the front then still you can sitting on your yoga block. So your yoga block must be in the middle or just slightly back so that you can have space between your shoulder rest and your uh, knee, okay? So I'm gonna sit in, put your yoga block on this way, then knees bending, kind of a kneeling position, okay? But if you like, you can cross your leg either. Okay, then find your straps with your hand, okay, then Make sure you are sitting top of your sit bone still on this block, okay? Then your um, tailbone is nicely planting down, means your pelvis is nicely upright. Back of your neck is very long. Put your straps around your elbows, okay? Then your elbows is kind of like, you know, reaching forward, 90 degree way bending, okay? Both palms are facing each other. So keep planting your tailbone back, okay? Then feel tall. Then as you inhale, open your arms to the side and exhale, bring back your elbows forward. So same height all the time your elbows means kind of like shoulder height, but not up beyond your shoulders, okay? Then open and close your ribs together. So you're not going there, okay? Nicely close your ribs together, then open and close. So without jerking your upper shoulders, inhale, open. Exhale, close and reach your elbows forward, 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 nicely. Inhale, open wide. And exhale, slowly controlling and cross. Let's do three more, open nicely. Your shoulder blades are keeping flat. Okay, and slowly control and bring your elbows forward. Inhale, open nicely. And exhale, control, the last one. Inhale, open wide. Then exhale, slowly close your carriage in. Good, now hold this strap, okay? Um, the reaching forward. So if you cross your legs, just uncross and cross the other way. Okay, then you just bend your elbows next to your waist, so keep your shoulders really down away from your ears. Okay, then from here, just slightly diagonally, lift your uh, fist up to the slightly side, like 40 degree way. Then Slowly coming back to the center, then reach forward. Okay, you can adjust if you want, you can choke up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna have a shoulder one. Inhale, bend without leaning back, okay? Holding nicely, Spine, neutral spine, then lifting your uh, elbow, hands, little slightly out and up. Then coming back to the center, but keep bending, then reach. Inhale, bend. Exhale, slightly open, but you keep your elbows same position. Then slowly coming back and reach forward. Pull and diagonally up and out and center and come back. So your upper shoulders are relaxed all the time and use your back of your arm and side of your torso and your uh, mid back. And up and forward, reach. Last one, pull and open slightly out 
and coming back and all, all the way come back. Okay, so now hold this long one. Okay, then your palms are facing up. So if you cross leg and cross and cross the other way. Okay, then from here you are just, let's do biceps curls, keeping a nice um, neutral position on your spine. So your elbows, it's slightly up, like shoulder levels. Then you are just bend your elbows and hands are towards your uh, over your shoulders and straight arms straighten. But keep your shoulders all the time away from your ears. Then controlling this, you know, core, pull your navel up towards your nose. Okay, keep back of your neck really long, reaching up towards the ceiling. And your elbows at same height all the time. Okay, so really, Tighten your center of your body nicely and keep breathing. Shh. Okay. Breathe. And three. Good. Control and forward. Last one. Good. Then just shake and a little bit to reset. Okay, then now you are just, so if you have cross leg, cross and uncross and cross the other way. Okay, then from here, keep your arms straight again. Then open your arms to the side. This time, just gently squeeze your shoulder blades and slowly close. Open out. Gently close, but without popping too much your uh, chest. Okay, nicely open out and cross, so using your uh, back of your arms and your shoulder blades, squeeze gently in, and control and arms forward. Let's do three more, nicely open, and come back. Two, feel tall, you're going up, not forward or back, and slowly control, and open, 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 Pull your car up on wide. Last one, open out and slowly control and put your straps into the peg and coming, get off the carriage, have a light spring on, then take the right, uh, red spring, heavy spring out. Okay, I put the yoga block on the floor. Okay, let's do single leg knee stretch, okay? So then I'm gonna stand, I'm standing up with the, on the, on the yoga block because I'm so short. And also it's gonna be good for the balance training. So put the yoga block under, underneath on your uh, standing leg. Okay, so it's gonna be my right foot is on the yoga block. Okay, then put your both hands on the foot bar, then just slightly sitting back, but keep your uh, shoulders really away from your ears, then your tailbone is reaching diagonally up, then same in line, diagonal way, your crown of the head and connected with your tailbone, okay? Then from here, so hinging just slightly around your hips, okay? Then, it's really light spring, so it's gonna be really easy. Without, so keeping your hips square, you're just kicking out. With your uh, left leg. Good. Quickly, but don't lose your tailbone and your hip connection. Good, okay? So this is very easy, but I want you to really feel this hinging position. Okay, and your shoulders are nicely away from your ears. And two, and one. So it's a really easy one. Okay, then now stand up, come up, then 
keeping both knees is the same level. Put your hands on your waist or you can on your front. It's really up to you. Then still keep your square hips. Then you are just kicking out. So using your glutes and your inner side and outer side equally. Pressing out. Pull your navel up. Feel tall. Good. Standing legs slightly micro bending your knee without hyper extending. And kick out. Good. Nice. And three, two, and one. Good. And close your carriage in. Face the reformer. Then put your uh, block, like the turn other way. Then, again, if you like, if you're okay, if you want more challenge with the balance, stand up on your yoga block. Right foot very uh, parallel, so aligned. Then your left leg, it's left foot is against your shoulder, is slightly turned out. Okay, find the still nicely turned out, but aligned also. So really engage your right foot, feel tall. Okay, then from here, so without shifting your weight, you're just kicking out this carriage and bend your knees and cross. So press out and cross. So it's, if it's really light for you, you can do inhale out and exhale cross. If it's too heavy, you can just press your carriage out as in, exhale, and inhale, bring back in. So still feel nice connection, your heel and your sit bone on your left side. Then you're holding up nicely, tight on your right glute. Good. And Three, two, and one. Good. Then now, halfway, press your carriage out. So halfway open. Then from here, just a kick. Small. Pause. Good. Nice. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And kick out and slowly bend your knee and close your carriage. So the point is when you, while you're pausing, you try to keep this, you know, the weight is steady, okay? But now, this time you're just pressing your carriage out. Then we are uh, just, let, let's do kind of like side split. So you're just leaning, but still keep your nice upright torso, but shift your weight on your uh, left side. Then squeezing your inner side and coming up. Okay, again, so out and out and in, feel tall and bend, okay? So if it's too much to standing up, to stand up on the uh, yoga block, you can just take it out for this time, but it's a nice challenge too, standing for standing and to, for the balance and for your core, if you stand up on the yoga block and feel tall to come up and control, then bend. Okay, and press out and out. So using your outer glute and feel tall, using your both inner thigh and coming back in. Last one, press out. Shift your weight, nicely open wide, and pull your navel in, squeeze your inner thighs, tighten your glute, and hold, and bend your knee, and close your carriage in. Good. Okay, so now take your foot out, take your block out. Then, if you have very light spring, you can switch this time, if you don't have, it's okay too. Then you're holding, finding a strap, right? Then you this time you turn out both legs quite wide, and you're holding this strap with your uh, right leg, so close to the foot bar side of your arm. Okay. Then first you're just pulling out gently, then come back in. 
Okay, then adjust your position. Okay, so pulling out and in, pulling out and in. Okay, then while you're pulling out, now same time let's do plie squat. So you're directly tailbone reaching down and come up, bend and come back. So pull and up. So directly your knees are wide, but still reach up your torso. Nice, good. And up, keep your right shoulder down. Good, then now if you can pull and stay, then open your arms to the side and bend and come up. Pull, and if it's too heavy, you can just stay. Just a couple of seconds, then come up too. Otherwise, other, otherwise, pull and open and bend and come up. Pull and squat and open. Keep squatting down, then bend and come up. Let's do two more. Pull and down, hold it your knees wide and bend and come up. Last one, lower, keep, reach your tailbone but down and bend and coming up, good. Switch your hand, okay, still keep this thumb out position, okay. Then from here, you are just punching and driving this back leg, you are just punching out, okay? Then come back in. So if you have a very light, uh, very, uh, if you have light spring, come really close to the uh, uh, end of the carriage, and you are just one day, okay? It's gonna be lighter, okay? As I am, I have a very light spring, I'm stay in, the, uh, in front of the shoulder rest, okay? So drive, so using this back leg, you can just driving and punching. Kind of like half lunging position, then come back in control. So your both hips are facing forward, okay? Then slowly come back in, punching, and come back in. Okay, let's do two this way, good. So driving using, then now stay here, okay? Then from here you are just bend, so, so lunging down and come up. Lunge down and up, so still keep nicely holding, carriage steady because you are having same tension on the strap, okay? And two. Equally down, just directly down, and slowly coming back up. Good. Okay, then let's switch side. So put your right, stra right strap, right spring on. Okay, then you're coming back in. Okay. Then put your hands on, stand up on your yoga block if you like. Okay, then having hinging at your hips, okay, holding nicely, you're just quickly, press your carriage out, but keep your hips square, then bring back in. Press out and in, inhale out, exhale in. It's really light, so feel the nice control. Square hips, okay, breathe. Nice, and still find your, new, your neutral position. Okay, good. Breathe. Four, three, and two, one. And come back, close your carriage in. Okay, then now, nicely upright position, need a same level. Again, then using your glutes and press your carriage out and in, out, in, in, great. Breathe, 
So without losing the square hip and the sit bone connected, good. Pull your navel up, shoulders are relaxed, and three, two, and one. Good, close your carriage in. Now, facing again on this uh, air reformer, then again, if you like, you can stand up on the yoga block. Okay, then parallel leg here on your left leg, then your right leg is nicely turned out. Okay, then press your carriage out without changing your weight. Keeping tight on your left glute, okay? Pull your navel up and press your carriage out. Nicely. The steel both leg is differently but aligned. Breathe. Nice. And three, two, feet tall and one. Then a halfway bend, then out. Pause, 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 good. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and press out, and bend your knee and come back in. Okay, so now, if you don't want, you can just take the yoga block out. Okay, otherwise press out, then lean towards your right, Okay, then squeeze your inner side of heel tall to come back up, then bend your knee close. Okay, out and out and in and in. Out and out, side split and pull your navel in heel tall, close and in. Out. Out and ready nicely, going up, 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 and bend. Last one, press out and lean and coming back up. Tighten and slowly close your carriage in and just come off. Take the block. Switch the spring, very light spring on. Okay, then find your strap with your closest hand to the uh, foot bar. Okay, turn out nicely. Okay, wide stance. Then you just pull, keep your shoulder down and your elbows going to the side and come back in. Pull and in. And pull, so keep both hips square. Okay. Then now, as you pull, same time you're squatting down, but pre squat, so reach your tailbone down and coming up. So keep your uh, pelvis upright and come back up. So squat down and pull and coming up, squat down and come up. Then now if you can, squat down, then open and bend and close and come up okay i'm gonna just do it close to the end of the carry the reformer okay so now pull and out and bend and up down pull and out and bend and come up in again open yes so if it's too much, you can just squatting down a little of it, okay? Pull and open and bend and come up. Last one, squat down. Open nicely, keep your shoulder down, then close and in. Good. Sit your hand, still having a nice wide. Then driving this back leg, you are just punching and forward. Okay, and come back in. Okay, so 
punching and the forward. So both hips are facing directly forward when you are twisting from the using the back leg and good and coming up. Okay, and punching and half lunging position. Then now punching and stay. Okay, then you just run down and up. Keeping the carriage steady. Good. Breathe. Lunge down. So directly you're going down. Good. And four, three, and two, and one. Good. And slowly come back in. Put the strap into the peg. Okay. And let's use the box. Before that, put your one heavy spring on. Okay. Then put your long box on. So. Let's do this one today with this box, okay? So if you like, you can just a little bit lower your foot bar. So facing the uh, strap side, put your hands front edge of the box, then slide up. Yeah, uh, chest, half of the chest is coming out then find your strap with each hand okay then first you're really pushing down your pubic bone and hip, hip bone too reach your toes out so choke up your strap then bring your hands just directly down under your shoulder okay back of your neck very long reach your crown of the head ready forward okay then keep this nice neutral position on your back. Then just as you inhale, pull back. Then exhale slowly, lower your hands down. Inhale, pull. Exhale down. Inhale, pull. Exhale, coming down. And two. Holding just one second in the back. Pull, stay. And slowly lower down. Good. Okay, now, as you are pulling back, same time, you are just lifting your chest up. So, collarbone turning up, and look just, you know, the end of the reformer, and inhale and exhale, come up. So, we not you're not diving from the chin, you are just squeeze your shoulder blades, like kind of a blur line, then look just forward, but slightly down. And inhale and exhale, coming back to the neutral position. Again, pull and squeeze and lift your chest up. And inhale and exhale, come back. Again, pull and keep the back of your neck really long and turn your collarbone up. And inhale and exhale down. Let's do two more. Pull and Pull your collarbone to the side too and squeeze your shoulder blade in. Engage your armpit, squeeze and inhale and exit. Then last one. Pull, pull, pull and reach chest bone up. Good. And slowly lower down your head. Relax. And put your straps into the peg and get off the box, take the box out. Then lift your foot bar up. Then you're coming, sitting down on the reformer facing to the side and stack your knees together, okay? Hook the back leg back foot, like, you know, just drop it on the shoulder rest. Okay, let's do side 
plank here, your hands slightly forward to the shoulders, okay? Then you are just, while you're pressing out, same time you are engage your navel, your core, and your glutes and lifting up, okay? Then you are just close and come back in. So everything is really flat. Keep this nice neutral, then engage your armpit to come up too, okay? And inhale and exhale, come down. So really nicely, everything is quite long and tighten your glutes and nicely open your hips, but without extending your lower back. Okay, and inhale and exhale, come down. Again, lifting up and pull your navel in and lower down. Then next time, so this top leg, top knee is not touching down, okay? Then stay up. Okay, from here, you're just reaching back and coming up, okay? Then reaching out and coming up. So reaching, but keep your neck, it's really nicely aligned with your spine, okay? Feel tall and come up, down and reach, reach, reach. So engage the side of your core and feel tall, then out and up and one more and coming up and halfway press out then coming down good last one on here okay you just press out and coming up okay then now this time you're reaching your uh, top leg out so for me it's my left leg out okay hip height then my right arm up towards the ceiling, okay? Then you just hold, stay here, or you can just go out and in. Same way, but this time, this both, you know, this left arm and left leg, it's nicely reaching and breathe. If it's too much, you can just stay without moving your carriage. Okay, and two more. Out, and in, feel it all. Good, and last one, and bring your knee together. Arm down, and hip down, good. Okay, so now, still the same spring, then you're just Look down, okay? Just slightly pull your navel in and stretching your lower back, okay? Then from here, you just press your carriage out. Then you just open your chest up and stretching everything. So look up nicely and squeezing your shoulder blades too. And slowly pull your navel in and come back in. Again, inhale and exhale, open your chest. But keep your shoulders away from your ears, okay? And nicely stretching everything. Squeeze your shoulder breath. And exhale, pull your navel in. Last one, press your carriage out. And open your chest nicely. And exhale, pull your navel in and close. And put your, let's do counter stretching. Put your left hand down on the shoulder rest or down on the head rest. Good. Nice and inhale and exhale. Come up. Let's switch side. Okay. So stack your knees, hook your feet against the shoulder rest. Find a nice position on your arm and torso, okay? Then you're just first, your both waist is really long, then pull your navel in and tighten your glutes, come up. And pull your navel in and close your carriage and come down. So tighten your core, tighten your glutes, open your hips and pull your navel in and close. Inhale and exhale up. And inhale and exhale, come down. Again, pull your navel in 
and slowly close. Let's do two more. Squeeze your glutes. Open your hips, nice long side. And coming down. And last one here. Squeeze. And slowly pull your navel in and coming down. Okay, now to engage your core and glutes and come up. Then from here, you're just reaching down and reaching up. Press your carriage out. Inhale and inhale and exhale, reaching up. Inhale and exhale, long. Inhale and exhale, tall. And breathe without hiking your shoulders. So engage your armpit. And really everything is tight around your core muscles. And out and reach and out and reach. One more. And feel tall, then slowly come back, pull your elbow in and close. Last one on here, okay? So pull your navel up and squeeze your glutes and coming up, okay? Then from here, reach your top leg out, okay? Then right arm up to, so you can hold here, or you can just press your carriage out and coming up, and press your carriage out and in. So keep this nice hip height, long arm reaching, and long leg reaching, breathe, and out, and in, and reach, or you can just stay there, breathe, good, nice, and three, reach, and two, nice, last one, feel it all, squeeze your armpit nicely, 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 and reach, and slowly, arm down, knee down, close your carriage, good, and pull, so just slightly rotating, pull your navel in, stretching your lower back here, good, then now bring your arm forward and lift your chest up, nicely squeezing your shoulder blade, okay, then stack your hips, and pull your navel in. Again, open everything, but keep your left shoulder down. Good, then slowly coming in, and open, 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 and pull your navel in. Last one. Open everything, nicely stretching out. Good, then exhale, pull your navel in around your back gently. Good, then have a counter stretching. Breathe. Good, then inhale and exhale, come up. And inhale, reach your arms up. I got as we did at the beginning. And exhale, lower your arms down. Let's do two more. Inhale, reach your arms up. Nicely, gently. It must be you know, different feeling. If you compare to the beginning, the same movement. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale through your mouth. Good. And we are done for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this no excessive flexion, no excessive rotation workout. It's very good if you have lower back problem when you are flexing your spine or rotating your spine. We also did a lot of balance work too. If you have osteoporosis, it's really you know, important to have a nice balance to avoid the fracture of the bone. If you have any question or comment, uh, so leave a comment below.
If you like to work out with me like today, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.